everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you wanted to join me today and sorry for not posting for quite a while. I apologize. Um, today we're going to talk about something that I think I talked about right in the beginning of my zero waste journey and then I never really talked about it again. So I'm going to talk to you a bit about motivation and how I keep myself motivated and how I keep myself curious and you know upbeat uh, when it comes to zero waste and living zero waste every day um, because maybe you can imagine or maybe you have tried this yourself that you engage in a certain lifestyle uh, that being zero waste or something else doesn't really matter but suddenly you feel either bored or just not motivated to continue and just mo not motivated to seek out new information or what to say so if you know this feeling and if you maybe want tips to avoid this feeling or get out of this uh, feeling, um, keep watching. The first thing I do when I feel uh, unmotivated to seek out new information or just not feel curious or excited about it anymore, I try to go and watch documentaries first and foremost because they usually remind me what it is I'm trying to achieve or what it is I'm trying to help out. Um, so I watch documentaries about uh, plastic pollution or plastic production or endangered animals because of plastic and marine biology um, and how it's disrupted because of plastic. Something like this. Uh, I usually try to seek out information that I can just watch. There are also tons of videos on Facebook all the time. Sorry, notage. There are also tons of videos on Facebook that I like to enjoy and I like to share with everyone um, because they keep me motivated and because seeing for instance, a turtle having a straw pulled out of its nose, it's just heartbreaking. And it keeps me motivated to not use fucking straws. <laughs> Another thing I like to do, and maybe this is something you can do in your country as well, but in Denmark we have statistics um, showing all kinds of things uh, about all kinds of demographics and all kinds of people. But we also have statistics concerning how much trash a single person produces in one year. When I see these statistics, I like to take out all the things that I am certain that I do not use, like plastic bags or plastic cups or plastic utensils. Uh, and I like to just look at my results because it can be really hard when you don't have any trash and or, or nothing to see or nothing to feel. Um, if you know what I mean, I don't know, I'm just rambling. But it can be really nice to see on paper what you actually have achieved. Um, and I brought some statistic with me for you to see. According to this statistic, a single person in Denmark uses 262 plastic bags each year. And I can just take out 262 plastic bags because I didn't use any scoreboard. According to this statistic, a single person in Denmark uses 450 plastic utensils every year. That is just insane. But I don't do that, so it really keeps me motivated to see black on white or on paper or on your computer screen or how you may like your statistics, I don't know. Um, but it really motivates me because I can just take all of these things out and when I imagine the pile of utensils or the pile of plastic bags or the pile of plastic cups, it's massive and it's so incredibly awesome to know that I didn't contribute to that pile. Another thing that keeps me motivated is talking to other people about zero waste. Um, and you guys are so delightful that you usually write something about your own zero waste journey in the comments or some of you uh, send me a private message talking about your zero waste journey and that is one of the main things that keeps me going because I love to see that this actually makes a difference. Just a very small one but still one you know so talking to other people and sharing my experiences like rinsing water will automatically get someone to think about it twice and then maybe change something and apparently some of you changes something and it's amazing I just love that I also love talking to other people like other youtubers other instagrams other bloggers that are interested in zero waste and you know whose zero waste game is actually fly so Another thing that really motivates me is talking to other people who doesn't know anything about zero waste and didn't even know that this was an option and seeing their surprised faces when you tell them all the facts and that every piece of plastic you ever use will never disappear, it's always here. Um, but either talking to other people who doesn't know anything about it here on YouTube, like for instance maybe right now, um, all while I'm giving lectures, it's just such a huge part for me at least of my motivation, it's just working with it and 
actively participating. Um, if you have any questions or if you want to tell me how you stay motivated every day, leave a comment down below, I would love to read it. You can also follow me on Facebook or on Instagram or on my own personal domain blog, gidamary.com. Every link is down below and I hope to see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves until then. Bye!